What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. I found a much simpler way to make a bounce elevator, and that's what today is going to be for. We're going to be looking at the really easy way and the very consistent way to make one of those for kind of infinite height. So I'll see you back down the bottom, and we're going to go through everything you need to do it. Before we get too far into this video, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that I'm raising money for the Starlight Foundation throughout the entire month of August for Starlight Game Changers. Every donation of $10 or more gets you into a big giveaway that Starlight is hosting themselves with some pretty dang cool items, uh, which you'll have, I'll tell you more about in the description down below. And also, every single donation that you give gets you a little chest on this Starlight Donators Hall of Fame, which does continue around here and up onto these top floors as well. So if you want to consider donating, please do it. I'd love to see it, and it would be absolutely amazing to help the lives of some sick kids out there. All right, back to the video. All right, we're down here now, and uh, as you can see, this one is huge. But we could go higher if we needed to. Here's everything you're going to need. So you're going to need as many pedals as you would like to grab. You're going to need a whole bunch of bug rubber. That's what all this stuff is. And a whole bunch of sprigs. All right, you're also going to need stem walls or whatever you're making your wall out of. Now, I've worked it out. It has to be a curved wall at least to start with. Is it doesn't matter which one you start with. I like to use stems, well, one, because I'm working over here in, like, the lumber yard. So, kind of fair. All right, you have to get it built first. This is another big key here. You have to get it built first. So, once you've got that, you're also going to need some grass planks or something you can make a floor section out of. I like to go two up to make this work the best way possible. Once you've got your curved wall in place, you've got your square ground in front of it, and you've got your walls too high, get yourself, depending on where you are, get yourself your bounce pad. Make sure a portion of it is sticking through this. In this case, mine's sticking through just enough. That's pretty much it. Now this is the pattern right here. So your floor, your bounce, your, your bounce pad, and your two sections of wall. Once we get more walls up there. Really important, like I said. <laughs> copy your ground, uh, copy your floor section, build it. And now this is where, this is the important bit. Uh, you need to snap it into place. So make sure you copy that one, the one you've already got placed. Or control if you're playing on PC. I'm not sure what it is on controller. That'll pretty much be it. That's all you gotta do. Find the area that you want to walk into and hope that it works. And that's all you gotta do. You can just go infinitely high with that. It's what, exactly what I've done over here. Only this is like 30 of them high. Same setup, super easy, always consistent, guaranteed to work. This is a 2.0 version, it's a lot better. This one's like 30 high to get us over here to where we can ship stems to literally anywhere on the map. I hope that tutorial was a bit easier than the last one. The last one seems to be a bit finicky. That's what a lot of people have told me. So hopefully this one helps you a little bit more. It's a lot more consistent and a lot cheaper on resources. So uh, yeah, I hope that helps. I want to see your creations. So drop me your videos. If you do it on TikTok as well, let me know over there. I'd be keen to see it all. But yeah, I hope that was helpful on how to make a bounce elevator. I'll see you in more tutorials coming very, very soon.